Okay, there we are. Once again, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Suffering suck attach. Look You're who's here. Ray, you? Ray. Suffering suck attach. All Look right, you here. too. You too. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, she's not here. You're not here. She's here. You're here. Something's going on here. Something's going on, and I don't want to think about it. I know. Excuse me. Let me have my coaster. Where? I told my aide to put the pants, to put the clothes on top of dry. She put them on medium. Now the pants are shrunk, though. I'm wearing pants that are so tight. My belly is, my belly is, my belly is, is How can that, how can that be? They don't make 100% cotton jeans, do they? They're, they're, they're mixed. These pants, the belly Oh, no, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say. The, the belly is. Is real tight, is exposed on these pants. Now, it used to be loose, you couldn't well, see it. Well, how did they shrink? I'm gonna let you all talk. Low, she put them on medium. I only have one thing to tell, ask her. Are you doing your, your share to prevent swamp bass in America? You don't smell no swamp bass. Shh, both of you, stop. Come on, man. Oh, my God. That, that usually gets her going. Oh, God almighty. Oh, I don't know anymore. What's well, going on with your girlfriend, Jimmy? Uh, don't even ask. I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. Check the web. The internet. No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm a stickler for not sharing personal business on the internet. Oh, yeah, that's why you're on the computer. No, the I talk about politics and everything else. Consumer advocate. I put people on that don't want to be on. So I didn't text Jerry for, since Sunday, and he asked me, did, what did you go on Jerry. the cruise? Jerry? Who's Jerry? The guy down the shore, he said, I haven't heard from you. What did you go on the cruise? He used to say, he used to say to me in the past, so he, were you with your old boyfriend? Now he's saying, what did you go on the cruise? Wait a minute, is Jerry the guy? Oh, just me, Jack. Give me a call when you can. Down Thanks. the shore. Da oh, okay, okay, okay. I fuck. That's what I just finished saying. You're not listening to me. Well, I don't know your your. Eileen, nobody listens to you. I don't know who, all, who all your friends are. But, What's going but, on with you? What? Nothing. But no, he. But wait, but wait a minute. He's questioning you, the guy who never had you down to see his home, and he's questioning Eileen. <laughs> well, so what? Let him question. Let him not. I don't care what you all. Can blow each other up with bombs i don't care <laughs> Shit. yeah it just doesn't matter so nothing positive materialized yet oh well, yeah but it's just a long story huh? yeah. man so what's going on like what just a different day no, it's not. That's the wisest it's thing she's. This is the same day. She's still talking about the laundry. <laughs> not a different day. Same I don't... as yesterday, just a different, just different. In other no, words, in the, 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 the day loop. So what it's you're Wednesday again. So what you're talking about is the temperature of, of the water in the washing machine that caused it to shrink. When you say low, no, medium. Dryer. Oh, dryer. Well, I air dry. Why? What? Why? I told her to put it on low. She said it would take too long. Boy, <laughs> well, nobody listens to you, do they? Listen. They don't. Listen. Jesus, if you're if you're cooking, let's say a pot roast dinner, and you and you use her logic and you crank up the heat all the way, what's going to happen to the meal? 
going to get better. Oh, you know what? She's smarter than I thought she was. You're right. It is going to get burned. You ever hear the term low and slow? Bar the barbecue experts, the pit masters, they always say that. You, you can't go wrong with a low flame or, or low medium. You know? Oh boy, it'll it'll dry faster if you put the dry. Where do you live again, anyway? Avenue. I know, but where? What's the name of? What's the name of your place? Skyline Apartments. I don't know that. Oh, is that where you are? Yeah. Oh. Skyline. I asked the super for a new shade, and then I told him he had an old one, so he made me sick with the old one, and don't even go up all the way. Everybody does whatever they want when they go. Well, why don't you call the landlord? I don't want to complain over him. Yeah. Why not? You're paying rent. Yeah, but you don't pay for a shade. He was just doing it as a favor. It me. comes with the rent. You pay for it. You don't pay for a shade. Yes, right? you do. It comes with your rental. You rent pay for blinds, but you don't pay for a shade. Oh, come on. Now, did, no, they do, no, did, no, did no. they paint your... When you moved in, did they give you a new paint job? I haven't got a paint job since I moved in. How long have you been there? Okay. 17 years Se old. Wow. Oh. Yeah, wow. that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. It's almost 20 years. You know what? The landlords are so nice. They seem to have something in common. They seem to have something in common. You know what? The landlords seem to have something in common in this region. There's a pattern here. I'm starting to see it. Oh. Ah, you know, I'm starting to see the pattern with landlords in this part of the country. Your landlord, the one he used to have, the one he has now, mine. In other words, what I'm trying to say is they, they want, they like to collect the rent right away on the first of the month, but they don't want to fix anything. got a new landlord now, though, right? Well, naturally he does. No. He lives over here. No. No, no where he no. used to live back in the day, he had a no, he had a no good scumbag. Now he's got like a, a, a different kind of scumbag. No, no, no. He's he's in a nice place. He's in a very nice. You know, no, no, no. He's fine. It's the problem is. The owner of the real estate is a piece of excrement or camel dung. She's not good, you mean, right? Yeah, to put it nicely in public. Fecal, fecal matter. I had some Mexican food yesterday with a with a frozen margarita margaritas on during happy hour. Did it have liquor in it, the margarita? It sure did. Yesterday. It was my birthday yesterday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. yeah. That's happy right. Birthday. I, I, I went with a friend to, in Garfield, there's a really nice Mexican place. Okay. How uh, old did you turn? I don't like to talk about uh, oh, Jim, those stop. things. <laughs> what, 57? No, not really. Worse. Yeah. 58? I, I, let's put it this way. I entered a new decade. Oh, you're 60? Yeah, see? I got the background laugh. I entered a new no, decade. You're 60 now, huh? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. 60, that's young, Bill. I mean, that's uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> you're what? 70? <laughs> 70. <laughs> you look 70. What I'm is not it? 70, though. No, I know, but you're looking. Quack, quack. Well, you look older, but I'm being nice. <laughs> oh yeah, they do, but they do it behind your back. Hold on, let me ask the pendu pendulum. Is our friend Eileen um, older than she claims to be? Okay, it's saying yes. I think it'll let me do it. It always does it different with you. Does does do women lie about their age, even though they don't want men to lie? You've got to swing them before you ask them, Jimmy. You gotta, you got to, Do yeah. women often lie about their age? How old are you? But they, they, but they don't like men to lie. Okay. Yes. I'm telling the truth. I'm going to ask. Da, 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 da. Leslie Nielsen. Is I? Is Eileen 54? Jesus. There you go. Yes. 
Okay. What about Eileen's college? Uh, Eileen's college certificates. Is it for real? I want to. Well, it. yeah. Okay. I can bring that in if no. I can find it. I want to try looking for it the other day, but I. Need Truthfully, to get Eileen has a college degree, doesn't she? Yes. There you go. Well, you're a schmuck cookie. You, I, I had no idea you would add. That's why he loves you. <laughs> yeah, right. Eileen loves Jimmy, doesn't she? I'm trying to figure out the motive he has. Oh, Eileen. I'm trying to figure yeah, out yes. the motive he has he for does, always you bringing do. that oh, up. Oh, you don't. Is it to aggravate me or is it to perhaps... Uh, does my friend Jimmy like Eileen a lot more than he lets on? No, the, the amulet is busting my chops now. Oh, now it's the amulet. Everybody blames the amulet. Oh, yeah. No, I like I, I like her as a friend. She's very entertaining. I just said more than you let on. We're not like what you're thinking. Uh-huh. Why? What are you thinking? I'm thinking entertainment purposes. Are, and, you, are you entertaining? She's, she's a compadre. Are you a compadre? I'm just a regular person. You're well, that means nervous. A, that means like a friend, a buddy, a, you know. Love can make Spanish. a person nervous, you know. Oh, but see, only Bill's allowed to have the the perfect ten exotic dancers and models and actresses, but only Bill oh, can see? have them. But now, I have, now he wants to twist it all towards Bill. Okay. See, he wants to have the best. Okay. Have, have all, my, as my parents said, have I had? All my women been simply wonderful and incredible. Boy, that swung right no, into it. No, I'm not it. doubting that. Swung right into it. Well, I know two other my guys. My Sherry was in the Miss Universe pageant. She was Miss Iran. Roseanne was on the cover of Cosmo twice. So it's okay for you to bone out. It, I've had phenomenal it's women. It's okay for you to bone out the best, but it's, it, but for me, you, you want me to bone out the worst. You're meeting girls on the internet. You had heavy women. Come on, Jimmy. Well, I had heavy problems. No, you liked heavy. Remember? No, I had heavy issues. You know, you liked heavy. You know, you know what the you problem? Remember what you used to say? No, but you know what the problem? At prob least I know I will never be cheated on. That's no, what you no, you know say. what the problem is? The, 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 the. the Here comes. The Here top. Comes. No, no. It's gonna take a while, I guess. The top of the line, young, attractive ones are glorified prostitutes, gold diggers. They're gold diggers. Because the girl's pretty, she's a gold digger. No, no, they ask too many questions about income, about yeah, a man's no, income. No, some do, but they're rare. So what you're saying is most beautiful women are gold diggers. Well, they size up... I don't up. know what to ask you, man. No, but what I'm saying, they, they ask you... Are you saying most beautiful women are gold No, they, they always ask you what you do for a living too too quickly in the, in no, the first I conversation. I no, I don't agree with that. Well, I, I think when you meet people, you say, well, so what do you do? Oh, what that's do you very... Do? That's kind of rude, though. No, no it's not. Well, what are you going to say when you meet somebody? What's wrong with somebody... That used to do stuff, but doesn't really do any uh, a lot now. What's what wrong are with you that? Saying? I, I don't understand. Why does somebody have to be doing something? You know, what like you, I don't understand career-wise. I don't know what you're trying to say. They well, just want to know what do you do? Well, it's none of their business. <laughs> Why isn't it? Because they shouldn't concentrate on materialism. They're not concentrating. And They're asking a simple question. What do you do? Yes, not concentrating. That's an American woman thing. Oh, yeah, that's a good Is question. Is it wrong for anybody to ask someone else what do, what they do for a living? It's actually very rude. It's kind of rude because that means you're, si you're trying to size up, your, size up your income. Is it rude when you ask someone what they do for a living? Told you you're wrong. Well, maybe that spirit was uh, J.P. Morgan is talking to you. Maybe, it's, maybe it wasn't. You know, JP was kind of like big on. I don't know. You don't know that. You never met him either. Listen, I read many stories about JP you and the Industrial stories. Revolution. Jimmy, you got some bad. I just you know. told you here. Come on, man. Come Car on. Car there were scumbags. Carnegie. Yeah. Well, okay, we're not getting off right, on that right, now. All right, Come on not, now. You're not, trying to get off on all right, it. All right. Enough. All right. Now. What else do you want to know? When somebody brings up the subject of career or job, are these women trying to size up the man's income? I just got through asking it. Is it wrong for anybody to ask another person right. what they do for a no, living? No, but the motive of, of asking. Oh, Jesus, Jimmy. Because you... So you, how, how do you want to phrase that question? You you get very vague questions. Because, because you, you... How do you want it to be you worded? Grew, you grew up in a corporate environment. How do you want environment, to be, Jimmy, corporate environment. stay off of it. 
How do you want it to be worded? That's what I want to know. It's none of a, a female. How do you want it to be worded, the question? You know what? I don't care because I still say it's nobody's business about, all you know. Right. Well, that's your belief. I disagree. It's rude. I'm talking about just flat out rudeness. I don't agree with it at all. Okay. Is it wrong for anybody to ask? I could care less what people ask me what I do. I just could care less. Is it wrong for anyone to ask anyone what they do for a living? No. Okay. What about what about instead of that question? What about hobbies and interests? Now, is it wrong to ask anyone about their hobbies and or interests? No, that's perfectly fine. That's acceptable. Because is you, it stupid? Yeah. And very ignorant and rude to keep secrets from others. Well, then they have to accept the person for who they are. That's well, all. How you find out is by asking questions. That's you know what? Point. You got a point because eventually they'll find out what all you about you. Anyway. You meet somebody who's standing there like bumps, bumps on a log. No, you you oh, ask. Oh, I you, can't ask you. No, you say, what are you into? That's the same thing. What are you into? What do you do for a living? No, like? no. Everything is living, income, career. I'm talking about hobbies, interests. Like Does what? my friend Jimmy Madonna have a clue about the proper and right questions to ask, to ask of a woman he meets? I would never ask a woman her what she does. Oh, boy. As I've, get, as, as I've said and asked before, some most people just don't get it, do they? You know, if a CEO or let's say Warren Buffett, because he he mentions his name a lot. I've met a lot occasionally. Let's say he met a perfect ten, and right away she asked. She didn't know Warren Buffett. She asked him right away, "Well, what do you do for a living?" Well, you know what Warren Buffett should say? Um, I'm a, I'm a I'm a financially in a very financially independent man very i'm rich but guess what you have to sign a prenuptial agreement whoever marries me has to sign a, a, a real yeah, prenuptial all, agreement that's a stupid argument because they all do the, and they're all smart the, and they get challenged in court and defeated to me now what's your next question you hide your money you can't hide it the courts are going to get you you, you mean there's, get it. there's no you lawyer that can... Up, it's not binding. They're all challenged. There's no lawyer that can finagle. Is a prenuptial agreement before marriage binding? Yeah, you know, like bananas. No, because a woman is favored in court, a law. That's why. It's been settled. There's your answer. What do you want to know next? That's because judges feel sorry for women over men. What do you men. want to know next? Is, 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 is the ju ju judicial system in America biased against men? Oh, hell yeah. Is the judicial system in America biased against men? Oh, so the, so the amulet thinks it's fair to, to treat women oh, special. You said against men. That's a broad statement. You didn't say it against married men during a divorce or anything like that. So you can't narrow things down. No, in question. general, they feel sorry for the woman. Women get screwed in court a lot. They do? I don't say they get, no, I don't think they're even oh, the as a woman oh, at all. Oh, Look, the, when they complain and complain about being raped or sexually assaulted in college or by these, these coaches or whatever, that favors a woman? I don't think so. Where did it favor the woman? Well, it has to be proven that it's actual sexual harassment. It didn't. Fa it didn't favor the woman. That's the point. And uh, do a lot of men, and I've known them. Uh, yes, Where the are woman. You now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to take the, the whole uh, suitcase. The whole with suitcase. You? No, I'm going to go through it. Yeah, right. Watch it. Well, if there's any money missing, Jimmy took it. Do a lot of women, I mean, do a lot of men, yes, a beautiful woman to death because they want to get in her panties? Oh, Jimmy, that's so obvious. We know that. Do a lot of men, yes, a woman to death because they just want to get into her pants? So obvious, Jimmy. Come on, man. We knew that. So, so, so obvious. Yeah. Is it only an idiot and a person with no absolute class that yes is a woman to death? And desperate too. There you go. 
Yeah. See? Oh, by the way, uh, I read a whole bunch of articles about how OSHA's coming down on Jeff Bezos' uh, Amazon warehouse. Many um, violations, safety violations. No, you're trying to show him, aren't you? Let me ask you a question. You're trying to flirt with Jimmy, let, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you know generally how to do laundry? I've done my mom's laundry and my laundry in the past. Yeah, but you used to do it in a stream. <laughs> a stream, you used to beat it on rocks. The rocks. Stone washed denim. No, no, not your mom. The laundry. Jesus Christ. I mean, I did my family laundry since I was 14. I had to do Yeah, but 14, that was what, 70 years ago? Now, now, stone washed denim, that's a bunch of hogwash, right? I don't believe pie. <laughs> well, I do. I think if they say stone wash. They probably throw a little bit of stones in these giant washing <laughs> things and throw the stones in to beat them. And geez, they're not lying. It is stone wash, but it's not in a stream or something. Yeah. Now, when you two are together and you do your laundry, I want to make sure you use real stones. Yeah, sure. Now, who who's the one that officially shrank your pants? Who? The aide that I just had for less The aide again, the one that aggravates you all the time. <laughs> The aide that visits her. Ah. I think Jimmy's got to come over and do your laundry from here on out. I don't know why he has an obsession with us being a dating couple. I have no idea why. You know why? Should Jimmy? So should he my, can parade. Should his my friend Jimmy Madonna go over and do my friend Eileen's laundry? See how honest it is. It's no. not going to happen. That's what, well. Hey, said no. Hey, listen. More power to you. Okay. I wish you could. What do you want to know, Jimmy? No, no. Don't keep going on. What do you want to know? Give me a uh, Is William H. Morrow like Andrew Anderson? That he tries to get under old James P. Madonna's skin. Am I like our friend, the pro wrestler Andrew Anderson? Am I like Andrew Anderson in that I try to get under Jimmy's skin? All right. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Jimmy contend, tends to get very defensive, doesn't he? Okay, depends on that's very good. Depends to on know. the subject. Does it depend on the subject? No. No. So he's saying I'm defensive all the time. You're thin skin is what you are. So that's why from now on his new name is Egg. Okay. Egg. Well, well, an organic egg has thick shell, by the way. I don't care. You're his new name from now on is Egg. 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 Like Vincent Price on the Batman. So if series. I say you've got egg on your face, that means he's kissing you. Uh, <laughs> uh, nah! Martini. Shake and not stir. That's oh, smoocheroos, baby. All right, yeah, well. Oh, look at him getting well, you embarrassed. Well, can, you, you can, I'm not embarrassed. You she, can, she's happy, look at her. She can, he can think smoocheroos. You know what I hear, wait, wait, you hear that music? <laughs> I know that song. And it's not going to apply here. Oh. Oh, by the way. Uh, what else is no way you better? Cut all the bullshit and let's come down to facts. What's wrong with you, Yikes. They give you facts, Eileen. She's, she's you didn't know that, Eileen? These are facts, Eileen. She's interrogating you now. I'm interrogating back, Eileen. Isn't that right, Jim? I'm doing that, Eileen. See, I can use the names after every sentence, too, Eileen. But do you notice that he said before he doesn't want to get into it? When you asked him, what, how's it really going with you lately? I didn't say anything about myself. I just got no, to about Eileen and then Jim. And now right. you get nervous. No, look you said, that, look at no, that. you said, I don't want to get into it. No, I didn't say means, a word of what I'm doing. Did you? I didn't say one word of what I'm you doing. Did you do something bad to Mr. Yeah. John Gabriel? Oh, yeah. Bad. Like a goat goes bad. <laughs> Jimmy Madonna tries his best to change the subject, doesn't no, he? No, I'm, I'm being Sherlock Holmes. Deductive reasoning. You know, you ever hear that, Eileen? Mean, I know the tricks. Am I anybody's fool? Is there more to William H. Morrow than meets the eye? Is there more to me than meets the eye? <laughs> oh, I got a good... Yes, there is more to you. I, always, I knew that. I could have told you that. But, but you, you're, you're, so you're trying to be funny. You're sneaky enough to withhold That's a lot of things. things. It's like my See, dad had here with IBM. Now, I was honest. Ooh, I knew that right away. Oh, I got a good question. Oh, uh, it's going to be something stupid. Is Eileen's purse 
real heavy because there are important things in there. Does Eileen carry a lot of important things around in her, her large purse? <laughs> that means you're... Oh, wait a minute. Is That's Eileen... Insane, no. No. You don't have anything... Is, is Eileen a hoarder? Plain and simple. Is Eileen a hoarder? You are. You're a hoarder. You have hoarding disorder. Oh. You hoard, huh? Oh. You hoard. And you hoard. You do, oh, How you... much? What do you hoard? Magazines, newspapers, what? Because that sucker's I'm heavy. Wait. Why? I just did that. Why? Why? Well, yeah, but not just do. There's a reason. I got. I got. I write things on a piece of paper, and then I keep that piece of paper. Instead of writing things on one big piece of paper and keeping on one. Big piece. Uh, I mean, could you get to the point? You say, "Bam!" Like you know, really, you're going to go 20 minutes on this answer. I keep things that. Why do you hoard? I keep. I just do. There you go. What do you have? Like 20 stacks of, you know, up to the ceiling of magazines and stuff. Envelopes that I write something on and I keep it. You know. No, I don't know. I'm. I'm learning. I haven't been to your place. Jimmy has, but well, I have. Yeah, he's full of crap. Uh, Let, no, me Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, but you don't wear them, you said. You buy a lot of clothes, but you don't wear them. This is a new shirt, Bill. This is new, fairly new. I just took off the tags. I've worn this for just two days. For yeah, two it doesn't days. matter. Jimmy got that for now, you. Now, the your, um, your uh, so-called my guy boyfriend, is his name Jer Jerry Galupi? No, oh, Gullah. Gullah. Jerry Gullah. Do you honestly think after eight years that he is going to perhaps marry you. No, he said he's gonna marry you when he turns 60. He's a... No, 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 I'm not, forget about that. I'm asking you, do you think? Who knows, God knows, I don't know. Anything. God knows. I don't know anything. Well, 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 let me fix it. God knows. Only God knows, Jimmy. I'm, I'm Bill, that's Jimmy. Yeah, only God knows, we don't know. That's not true. No, that's not true. Jerry Galupi. Both of you. Is there a God? There's no God. You can laugh all you want. Eileen simply believing in God and she's believing in the supernatural, isn't she? Interesting. Something you've never seen before you believe in. That's not good. It's a, it's a cat lick thing. Cat lick. Oh. It's, it's, I'm sorry, but it's <laughs> ignorance. You're believing in something that doesn't exist. Uh, do you... Did, 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 wait, what? Did God create man? Did man create God? I wish you'd listen, Eileen. Listen to the questions. You all man. are so scared you try to interrupt this every time. That's not right. Do you know what swamp ass what, really is? Do Eileen and Jimmy try to interrupt you sometimes out of fear? Yeah. Are you kidding? I'm like freaking Flash Gordon. Why well, ain't you afraid? There you go. Okay. Ming the Merciless. <laughs> Yeah. She oh, look, a miracle. She didn't take her purse with her. Oh. Where are you going, Eileen? I'm going to get water, A miracle. Look at are that. Pregnant? Are you pregnant? No, I got to the pants are so tight, she shrank them. It's making my belly oh, stick out. Geez. She put them in the dryer for too long. She really shrank them. Well, take the top crap. off and walk around and scare people. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's actually, she keeps pulling out her, uh... She's trying to... She's trying to So, do you really know what swamp ass is? I want to see it. I'd like a. Let's see. You know, it's most it, people, the vast majority, don't have any clue whatsoever, do they? Does William Morrill say this all the time because he wants to put himself on Mount Olympus? Do I say and ask this question all the time because I want, as Jimmy says, to put myself on Mount Olympus? 
He likes you, the amulet. So far, you're O for six. He likes you. I'm, all amulets like you. That's that, that, maybe that. you don't answer the right question. It's I good. told you don't. I you, always you answer like good. You don't make fun. I don't make fun. I ask good questions. Before I ask some yeah, good no, I, instead of talking, tell me what to ask him. I don't know. I have to think of something. He's gonna think now, Eileen. Oh, uh, I heard Donald Trump uh, really scolded Jeff Sessions. Is that going to cause a lot of friction? Well, they've had fr nothing but friction between the two of them. It's old hat. Then. It's old hat. It's going on every day, Jimmy. There's nothing new. This is just where Jeff Sessions has already months ago recused himself, and now Trump's telling him it's old hat. There, there, there's been nothing but friction. Yeah. So how, how do I ask that question? When it's, you just answered it. I answered oh, it. Oh, will the will would the Republicans be surprised in this November? You mean the what do they call these the midterm elections? Yeah. The upcoming November. This, these upcoming November midterm elections. Are the Republican is the Republican Party going to be extremely shocked? by the Democratic Party. Yeah. Well, or, or the progressive third party is... The third party is... Yeah. I'm expecting a phone call. I gotta wait for it. Well, I you don't have to wait for it. You bring your phone with you. No, it's a home phone. The person's gotta be calling on. Oh, Why you don't gonna... you give me your cell number? Why don't you give me your cell number? No, nah, I, I get the home number because they'll be calling me on the home number about different hours and stuff like that. You know? that, is, that's, that doesn't no, answer I, question. I don't know. So why don't you bring your cell and call me on yourself? Yeah, rather than call me on my home phone, yeah? No, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand that logic. They'll have to contact me in my home number because it'll be early in the morning, yeah? No, I don't know. I'm so wondering why you're I'll, giving that number. It's not early in the morning, I'll have I my cell phone shut off early in the morning. My home phone will be turned on early in the morning. I have my cell phone shut off because some girl calls me early as hours of the morning on my cell phone. But it's yeah? not early early in the morning but, she, but he'll be calling me early hours of the morning you know? but it's not early in the morning now no, I don't I know he's but he's calling me about something else now yeah you know? is he gonna call in the afternoon yeah he says he's gonna call later, later. now you're gonna run what, what is it is this okay if it's not personal can I ask you what what's so important it's about a job, you know? where I don't know just yet you, know? you don't know where it is oh my I god have to find out, you know? no I don't know what is it's this about sure, yeah you, know? you don't even know the food store I'm gonna find out. Mm -hmm. you know? you no, I, this doesn't make sense to me. You should have gave your employer the yourself. In Hackensack, yeah. No, I don't know. There are many in Hackensack, and you don't know. I'll find out from him. He's gonna let me know. Who's this guy? It, it's it's from Pack Team. It's an organization. They know all about it. Yeah. No, I, you keep saying I know. No, I don't know, Eileen. This doesn't make sense to me. Why didn't you give the um, the future your possible employer your cell phone number? I'm. Uh, I guess I will eventually, yeah. <laughs> you keep saying we know, Eileen. Eventually. I'm sorry I don't know all the information. I have to find out more. But yeah. you, are you going to trust this person? But do you yeah. see the logic of you having to... Oh, you do that. I'm going to have a cigarette. Having to rush all the way home? This is how people get murdered. When they, I get, I get they talk to people would... they know nothing about, and then the guy ends up killing you. Now she has to rush all the way home thinking I that mean, she's going to get a phone call. I, I don't know when the back. person's right going to call, but I just want to be home in case they do call. So now, now because you didn't give him your cell phone number, you have to leave a public place and rush all the way back home. I guess I should. I don't know what my cell phone number is to give it out anyhow, Jimmy. Listen, if your cell phone number is is hard to remember, do what I do. Put it in the notes. You know, on the cell phone, it has a section called notes or reminders. Mm -hmm. There's an. It's a notepad. Put your cell number, put down Eileen's cell phone number, and put it, you have a smartphone or, or like him? An iPhone. You have, like, okay, like me. So put it in the notepad, As put down Eileen, you know, type in Eileen's cell phone number and put the number in there and save it. This way you have it. Because it's really, you know, to be honest with you, a lot of people with smartphones don't even have a home phone number anymore because it's a waste of money. Why pay for a home phone number if you have a smartphone? But I'm using, I'm using, I'm, but that thing where the notepad is, I'm using that to dial numbers out on. 
keypad um, to get my keypad to get the key to get the to get to yeah. the to get to be able to make outcome okay. and call. All right, listen. There are there are three pads that I know of on iPhone. There's the contacts pad, which which allows you to dial out with one click, right? Then there's reminders. Let's say you have a shopping list, you're going to the store, you can put all the items you need right on there. I have to have my brother show And me then there's show. notes. No, I can even show you. Then there's notes. There's next time I'll show you where they are. Because right now you gotta you gotta go home. But please, any important calls from anybody, you should always give them your iPhone number. And then next time, remind me, I'll show you where the notes are and the, the reminder pad is. Because when you have that, you don't even have to write down your shopping list. You just look at it and it's go, I need milk, I need eggs, I need bread, I need this, I need that. It's, you know, technology. I don't write nothing down. But anyway, go, go, go. Yeah. Oh my God, the illogic. Bizarro world boggles my mind. That was an experience a month to six weeks ago when our friend Eileen ran out of here moments after Ray, the kind of little out there guy, left. <laughs> she ran out there after him. We, she scurried. When Eileen says she had nothing to do with Ray and did not go out there following him, is she telling the truth? Ah. Now, she's Irish, and they say Irish kiss, people oh, kiss don't, them. Don't go by stones, and the Irish don't do this. They, they kiss, kiss the Blarney stone. stone. Oh, I know. That's bullshit. <laughs> Ask it that is the legend of the Blarney Stone. To it does. Does kissing the Blarney Stone mean that the Irishman is full of shit? <laughs> see how you see how I tell you to ask questions. I did. Damn. Look yeah, at look at that swing, brother. Okay, finally you, you learn how to ask a question. He said, "Right, bam, right to the point." Listen, and bam. listen. I I I would love to make my uh, my English language uh, art. Diction or grammar. I would, I would love to make more it articulate. more articulate. Give it, don't think of the thing to pieces. Well, I like the feel of it. Don't be weird. It's not a sex toy, I know. No, so don't do that. I want to tell you, don't do that. We got to go to Gabriel's real soon. I want to eat. I want to order the fried calamari. Phenomenal, they say. Yeah. About, about the quality of the food of Gabriel's. I'm staying, I'm staying in the Holiday Inn, as you know, right now. There's a restaurant in there called Gabriel's. Everybody raves about it. Is the quality of the food as incredible as everyone raves about? All right. I well, think Gabriel's the place to be. Yeah, the idea that the amulet is incredible. Yeah. You admit that you're not 100% correct, right? Okay. But you do admit you are correct a good 99 point something percent of the time. Am I right? Meaning it's very, I do rarely, believe it. rarely, rarely, right. rarely wrong. Because I used it in the casino and at the racetrack, and it was 100%. Accurate. They followed me around, but it was 100% accurate. You know, uh, you know, the uh, psychic mediums on these special programs say that you have to, you cannot confuse the spirit world. You have to be precise in your questioning. Well, that's what I. That's what you've been you saying right along. along. Jimmy, is it short enough? Get right to the point. Ask I know, but you, you, I'm not. This is when I do it. You know, and but, then when you hear, oh, but I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. I've been telling you for how long. But I'm not disagreeing with you. Said, get to your point. It's just you get, get so point. you get so aggravated by it because you keep going over. 
when I just told the guy when we came in earlier, like, all right, we got us up. I said, I'm going to leave it to you to talk to you. Yeah, how would that be? He goes, no, 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 he talk. He'll talk. Yeah. Like, I, a light bulb went, lit up over my head, and I said, you know what? You know what? Far, I think... Far too many people have, are long-winded, as they say, aren't they? Look at that story. Well, that, well, that, I agree with that. Oh, uh, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Um, was Bill Morrow and Andrew Anderson correct when they said, do not make it look like you're pursuing a woman. Do not make it obvious that you're it pursuing for you to be following women. That was you cannot you're follow. Stuck. When and my, my friend, the pro wrestler, Andrew Anderson, and my son sat at the Barnes & Noble Cafe in Paramus, New Jersey years ago, and we saw Jimmy following a woman around. Were we, were we right in saying that was totally stupid what he was doing? Well, because it could be misconstrued as stalking. Not misconstrued. You were stalking. That's wrong. You made that stupid face when you did. I don't know why you were doing that. I said, why is it making well, I don't know. I didn't have a mirror in front of me. So I'm was, not saying. Was what Jimmy was doing? Was that stalking? Look at that. Well, for a technical terminology, I, I guess it can Should be. Should Jimmy Madonna be following any woman around at all? Yes. This was many years ago, by the way. Yeah. No. It says no. And we told you, stop it. Remember, we right. sat you to get over here. Right. Now, remember, I said, now, get over now here. Now, if, if you happen to be online or doing something and a woman stands beside you and makes conversation, that's a totally different oh, story. Yes, Jimmy. Don't you, you don't understand, do you? Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to pick your brains. That's Interacting with a woman. You don't seem to understand. Talking to a woman is talking. You were following. That's right. totally right. different. Right. Talking to a woman is completely different than following a woman around in a store, isn't it? Look how fast it goes into it. Look at that swing, too. It, with, with vigor and enthusiasm. No, that's the point I'm trying to show you. It's Vigorous. Things, certain things. Is, and thank God they gave you a decent amount of napkins. You can't have them. They want them back. You're not getting any. What if I brought my mother's bib in? The one with the snaps and the Velcro? Yeah, you wear it. Do that, okay? <laughs> it doesn't have a lobster on it. That's why I can't wear it. It's all right. You can wear it anyway. People <laughs> I don't think they expect anything less of you. Oh, by the way, how were the beers? Yeah, well, I only had one of the uh, ones. I have to have the other one. I, I think the there. last one I gave you I was... I had a Genesee last night. You had the, okay, you had the Genesee. And then the Yinling, you still have in the refrigerator. Yes, yes. Yeah, Ling, Yinling. That's what I had last night when I was on the show. I was on two booze shows last night. We did uh, Cream uh, Taylor. Are you familiar with the Taylor New York State wine country? Taylor. I've heard of Taylor wines, but yeah. I don't know cream you sherry. You know cream sherry. Sherry's they call it dessert wine. I, I don't do aperitifs as they call yeah. them after dinner. No, no, it's not a it's not a cordial liqueur. No, it's no, a, my mom used to like uh, uh, oh what was uh, the it, green thing? Oh, Jägermeister? No, 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 it's all sugar like very sweet. No, I can't stand that. Those cream comments. de mint. She's a little cream de mint. I can't stand those uh, liqueurs. No, you and, see how you use it? You learn from yeah, any, you any, learn from Eileen. She's yeah. a hoarder. Now we learned about her hoarding. Uh, hoarding. Um, anything... We learned about her, this guy. He's not going to marry yeah. her. Anything, any wine over 14% alcohol is considered a dessert wine, a sipping wine. Like me? port, sherry. Me? Who cares? I thought you cared about booze. I, do, I don't care about alcohol content. It's just funny to laugh at. Like pure, pure grain well, is like 196. A sipping wine. You know, and most booze is like, well, I can whatever, 86 proof. I did find out something from a gentleman from Tennessee. Okay. There's a reason why the cops go after moonshiners out in the woods. Well, because the government's not getting their taxes. Well, he said it's because that some of it is so high in alcohol, you can risk your health or go blind. Well, that's Jimmy. Grain alcohol can, well, can kill you. If it doesn't, it can make, make you go blind, make ruin other organs. Yeah, but, but the, yeah, but. By anyone? But it's dangerous. My God. Pure grain alcohol? Can you imagine the alcohol content of that? 
196. 196. Oh, it's deadly. It's deadly. Pure grade alcohol is nothing but problems, and it's completely deadly, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Oh yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. We had a grain party at my frat house in Tennessee. Oh my God. Now you. Um, like they said the doctor yeah. said the only reason you're not dead is you are. You are in such incredible shape from football. Well, look at look at your results from the oncologist. Fabulous numbers. You never lost your hair during chemo. Another great thing. Um, um, so the oncologist says so far it's yeah. it's really working. Your new therapy. Uh, the immun immunology. Yeah. The football and baseball has there ever ever been an arm like mine. No. Oh, I knew that when the NFL and, and, and William Morrow was a victim of office politics in sports. Have I gone through an awful lot of politics my entire life in sports? Yeah, probably jealous of you, that's why. I knew that. I've always known yeah. that. What do you think he did to me in college? I'll, it's like the Wild West, Jimmy. Yeah. You're sitting there eating. Instead of coming up and challenging you with a gun, I'm faster than you. Guys, I'm sitting here eating with friends, and I would come up and just say, I could throw harder for you. And I look up and I'd say, No, you can't. <laughs> I said, Nobody can. And what about the coach saying uh, he, he hired his uh, son in law that time? That story about instead of using, instead of having you try out for no, the team. No, that was high school when I moved up from Texas. Oh, that was high school. When I signed up for football. I said, I'm here to start a football position as a quarterback. I've already got my quarterback. I said, but you've never seen me throw. He said, it doesn't matter. I told my dad, how do I fight that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You've never seen me throw. And I did make it. So. Yeah. So what Jackie, Jackie says that you should be getting it in real pretty soon. soon. Pretty soon. So it looks good. Uh -huh. Yeah, my stuff's safe. I hope so. Do an awful lot of people still talk about my arm even today. Oh. Well, I know that. Boy, Kenny and I used to put on a show at Bergen Community, man. Yeah. Oh shit, sucks. We put on a show. Yeah. That, that, that one movable wall weighed tons, massive tons. Wow. And people went, holy oh, shit. When I missed them on a few outlaws in the gym, where the walls were like, bam, and that entire wall went, mm -hmm. went holy shit. Look at that. They said, you imagine that hitting his body? And when we finished the practice one day, Kenny came running over. He was all state in Paramus for Paramus High School. He holds the record of rushing. He's gone. He committed suicide. Oh, boy. But, holy look. <coughs> he came over. He's like this. Dynamic inertia. He said, I can't keep it still. The nerves were all numb. And they turned him over. The entire back was way puffed out from the impact of the ball hitting during the process. Damn. He said, look at this. My God. He said, look at this. Holy shit. He was shaking his hands. He said, he said, I have no feeling. When I knocked Fred down, they thought he was going to have to go to the ER. Yeah, what do you, so, so, the, so a good, a good game plan would be like, in a, to go to Gabriel's like in the early, in the early afternoon, right? Well, the not early hour, afternoon, early evening. Half the hour is five to seven. Five to seven. And, and but, but Sunday it's free to close it. Right. On Sundays, okay. But they still, do they, they still serve dinner at, like after seven, if it's 7.15. Well, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, like, you know. But they have specials, Wednesday is prime rib night. Right. That's where everybody goes nuts yeah. over. But you can get fried calamari probably in any, any Well, as a main night. course or whatever, but I'm saying if you want it as a five or six dollar, dollar appetizer special, yeah. it's during happy hour, five to seven. Yeah, prime rib, yeah. No, not prime rib, the calamari. Calamari, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, when but when, Wednesday is prime rib night when it is specially yeah. prime. Yeah. Oh, I just I just want you to know when something's a blackboard special and discounted, sometimes a restaurant will give you smaller portions. Well, but Unfortunately, sometimes they won't because they know people see that and say fuck you. I'm not gonna. Yeah. You know who does that? Fridays down Route 17. Like if you give them a coupon, never give a coupon. 
be before the you order the food. Oh, I know, but that's why they have the small print. Please give coupon to the waitress or whatever before ordering. Oh, I said bullshit. You're right about that because I I, yeah. I used to go there with my sister and my mom and. It was proven, without a shadow of a doubt. That's that not they, fair. You know, that's even, fraud. Even the vegetables were cut in half, the yeah, that's portions. Not, that's not fair. It was baby back ribs, one of your favorite. You like baby back My barbecue buddy went ribs, there. He right? said it sure was a lot smaller when he got it. Then let her go back. The special. He said it was a lot smaller than it looked on TV. He saw it. I'm not yeah. back. Oh, Blackjack Mulligan has really nice... A lot of these restaurants... Baby back ribs. ...with smaller portions when you present a coupon. Yeah, you find out things quick, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, and they, and they love to push expensive cocktails. Okay. That's why I don't ask for ice, Jimmy. I told you when I used to get my martinis, I said ice on the side. Even the dance clubs pull that, that scam. I tell them ice on the side. I don't care whether it's a dance club or rest, I said ice on the side. Yeah. Because they just give you less of everything. It's actually ice cubes are cheap filler. Well, my God, of course, you're getting less sips yeah. you don't order more drinks. You know that burritos, most burritos are loaded with white rice? Well, so you I, get less meat. I, well, I like white rice. I love white rice. Yeah. But, you know. yeah. now, now there's a new thing on the Food Network. People are putting French fries on top of hamburger patties. No. Like in the sandwich. No, that's been done for forever. Bobby Flay says every hamburger needs to be crunchified. That means putting potato chips on top of a hamburger. Right. You can put anything Bobby Flay, on a hamburger. You tell me one thing you cannot put on a hamburger. You know what that's saying? Well, answer me. What one thing you, you can't put on a hamburger? Okay, you, you can put whatever your taste wants. Whatever you want. Onion rings. You know Bobby Flay? You know? Bobby Flay's Burger Paradise? You know what his burgers are? They're only six ounces. When I go to all these, I get the eight ounce. I think the they're all eight ounces. Was, I think it was five guys one for two years in I'm a row. I'm sorry, one third pound. Two years in a row. It was, uh, five guys. Oh. One third pound is not a bad size. Well, I've heard uh, IHOP is, that new burgers are incredible. Eight. I think they're eight ounces. To be honest with you. This new, these new burgers at IHOP is selling now. Are they actually, are they great? They look great on a commercial. So they, they, the paper in the USA Today said their sales have skyrocketed. And I have to be honest with you, IHOP blows away Denny's. Yeah, I told you that. It really does. I said Denny's, I was never been when, impressed by When I was in Florida, South Florida, I went to Denny's quite often, and then I've also went to IHOP up here. And there's definitely, definitely a difference. And that's that. You're about ready see, to go, right? Yeah, see how you learn things from this? Yeah. You gonna get some food? Yeah, I'll get something. I'm not that hungry, but I yeah. will. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.